Exodus 28, 43 says, And they shall be on Aaron and his sons when they enter the tent of meeting or when they approach the altar to minister in the holy place, so that they do not incur guilt and die. It shall be a statute forever to him and his descendants after him. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is Exodus chapters 27 and 28, and I encourage you to read that passage. Do you have something that reminds you of your life in Christ? Have you ever wondered why some pastors and priests might wear clerical garb outside of the church? Now, many Protestant pastors don't wear anything to show people what their position in the church is. This can be both good and bad. On the good side, you might not know whether or not you're speaking to a pastor, and so your speech or actions might be modified just because you're there. It's kind of like saying, I don't know who's watching me, so I guess it'll be good. But on the bad side, that pastor may think that he or she can get away with things because he is dressed like everybody else. Those clerical clothes have an element of control over somebody's actions because they let the world know of that person's relationship with God. Now, I know that we are not supposed to focus on externals. If we know Christ, God's law is written in our hearts because the Holy Spirit resides in us. And if we're listening closely, our daily walk will be filled with victory rather than the defeated by sin. The problem is that we tend not to think of that which is inside to keep us from sinning. I tend to like to have external things help me overcome my struggles and my temptations. As long as I view these external things as representative of God, I tend to be able to overcome my struggles with that temptation. It's when I forget who I am that I struggle the most. 